<laughs> I've got a flatty. Oh, this could be an alright one. And that, got, got him. Got this nice little sand whiting using some beach worms. Salt and vinegar flathead fillets. Look how good that looks. Those look delicious. They look good, look at huh? that. This. Also picked up a bunch of new plastics. Got 2.5 inch slim swims. Uh, trying out bait junkies. I might just go with the classic 2.5 inch slim swim for now. What I'm used to. Dead lows about 10.30 I'm pretty sure. So, falling tide right now. Should be pretty good. Some flathead. These ones, on there, a bit of beans. We'll do a bit of, bit of baby spinach and rocket as well. A bit of greens. After brekkie, we just walked right across the road to the beach to check it out and have a swim. Alright, 10.30 round about, so it's like dead low tide, come over to the beach, have a chill, maybe have a little swim, but yeah, we're just going to chill out here for a bit until the tide starts to rise and we can go fishing uh, in the creek. We're nearly 11 o'clock by now. We'll head back to the car. Hopefully get the canoe out and the kayak and try and catch some fish in the creek. Should be good. We've got a bunch of soft plastics as you saw. We've got a bit of bait. Maybe we can get a feed of fish by the end of today and uh, the carcass in the mud crab pot. Try and get a crab tomorrow. Is out, or canoe it is. Alright, haven't been fishing for long. I've got a flatty. Oh, this could be an alright one. No way. Oh, yeah? First fish on the new rod. I thought I had a stick or something. It didn't fight at first. Okay. Oh no, it's only small. Yeah, this is my first fish on the new rod. Mango's just here, so we're just still... Do you want to try and get it in the net? Yeah. 
just for fun. Yeah. So I, don't, I don't think it's going to be legal. Try and get him in the net. Yeah, he didn't fight at all. Alright, where's he at? Oh, alright, ready? Ready? Head first, oh, remember? Oh. Alright, ready? You gotta get him head first, ready? Nice. Actually, not too small. Check out that. Check that out. It could be legal. That's so cool. Could be legal. First you know fish on the new thing. Absolutely engulfed the plastic. Uh, it, we should get a measure on them. measure them. Nice little flatty. Awesome. I'll try and get that hook out. It is way down there. I don't have any pliers either. Got the nice flatty. Gonna put him on our brand new measure mat. Oh yeah, he's good. Ooh. All right. Right on zero. Oh, he's legal. Yeah, he's legal. He's legal. Look at that. Wait, just double check. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well and truly. Right. Yeah, legal in, in uh, oh. New South Wales is only 36. Oh. 40 in Queensland. Beautiful. So, yeah, I don't know. Do we want to keep this guy? What do you reckon? reckon. Keep him? Yeah. All right. Decide to keep this flathead. I'm gonna put him on ice straight away, kill him, and uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna keep him just because he's such a beautiful fish and it's the first fish of the day, but we don't usually get too many legal ones here, we usually get a lot of small ones, so we're just gonna keep this one just to ensure we have something to eat for lunch later on. I'm thinking we might make some fish wraps or something. Alright, got the flatty chilling here in the net. Important to keep them, you know, nice and lively and um, comfortable and just kill them quickly with a knife, just like this. But yeah, I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery and yeah, we'll cook him up later. There he is. Beautiful little flatty. We're not gonna put any of him to waste. I'm just gonna gut him now and probably. Maybe two or three hours max. We're gonna cook this guy up. Alright, there we go. Give this guy a wash. And yeah, we'll get this guy on ice in the esky and we'll keep fishing. Uh, we're just gonna head up creek and drift back down past where we got the flatty. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we can get a few more before, before the good tide's over. We're just right in the middle of the creek here. Just drifting down with the current, hopping that plastic. It's quite shallow where we are. I think we might head back along the mangrove line where we caught that last flooding. That's where we've had most of our success in this creek along those mangrove lines because it's real deep drop off and they just hang in there. Oh, I just turned the GoPro off and I'm on again. This one's a really tiny one. We'll still get him in there. Yeah, you got the net? You ready? Another little flatty. Oh, look at him go. It's so much fun on this light rod. Looks like I got him right in the corner of the mouth. Oh no, look at how they're eating it today. Swallowing it right down. All right, get him. Ready? And that. Got him. Got him. Oh, look at that. Thanks, man. Take that and I'll bring it into shore. Look at that. They are eating this little, ouch. They are eating this little three inch uh, slim swim in the motor oil color so well. My camera's on like 10%. And there's not going to be a lot of fishing clips in between catches. I'm really trying to save my battery. But yeah, try and get a little underwater shot of him. Alright, it's been quite a while since we've hooked up, but I'm on again. I'm going up and down the river. 
Yeah, we went all the way down, didn't look too good. We've come back up near the original spot. I've just been trawling the lure behind the kayak while we move and um, give it a hops and I'm on. Feels like another little fella. Yeah. Oh, oh look at the patterns on him. Wait, I'll get the net. <laughs> it's in the front here. Wait, oh, oh, I'll have to do a self net here. Yeah, the thing about this creek is there's a lot of little fellas, which is why I kept that first one. Obviously, you don't actually have to net these guys. It's just first time we've ever actually had a landing net, so we just might as well practice. Boom. Oh, Soak in the... Look at that little guy in the corner of the mouth. Do you want? Do you want to release this one? Yeah, sure. Alright. You just obviously unreleased them, so let, let his lips go. Ready? Put him in front of the GoPro. You know what? That's my first fish on the Daiwa bait junkies. I've never used bait junkies in the fish oil color, similar to Slim Sims motor oil. But yeah, that's cool. It's getting a little dark now. I'm not sure what the time is. I don't have a phone or anything. But we want to make sure we can get those pots out and eat that fish before it's too dark. So we might have to head in soon. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty cool. Okay, I reckon right in there is going to be a good spot for our crab pots. Maybe somewhere there. Alright, we'll head back to the car now, back to our stuff. Alright, well we just got back from the kayak. GoPro died, but got this nice little sand whiting using some beach worms. Just from the tackle shop. Yeah, I mean hopefully I can get another one and we can cook it up with that flatty, but re release this guy. Nice little widening. Hopefully we can get a bigger one. Kicked off. Big bite. Come on, take it. I think it might be a brim. Got him anyways. Oh, he's off. I think it's just real little whiting. Bugger. Oh, come on. They must be super, super tiny, tiny whiting. Cause yeah, look, they've barely even done anything to the bait. Oh well, I'll just cast out again and we're gonna get ready to fill up that flathead so we can get the pots out before it's too late. All right, we've got that flatty from earlier, 38 centimeters, uh, which, is, which is legal in New South Wales. So um, yeah, he's been in an ice slurry for about three hours, so. I mean, we'll see how we go <coughs> under the fins. Backbone. Turn the knife. Now on the spine. Not bad. Pretty small fillet. Try and skin this the best I can. Even if I do do a bad job and I miss some meat, it's going straight in the pots. 
and will hopefully allow us to catch a mud crab. Alright. See, I missed a little bit there, but not a bad fillet. Just chuck them on the plate. Get, ah, I'll get the bones out after I do the other one, actually. Just cut on either side. Of those bones. Can you feel them along your knife. That's one side done. And yeah, I'll just do the same thing with the uh, other side and we'll be ready to cook. Just gonna chuck a bit of oil in there, quite a lot. Here's the fillets. Pretty nicely cleans, almost no bones. I think there's about one in each. Um, we've got our breadcrumbs here. And I've got a packet of salt and vinegar chips that we opened uh, just earlier. And we're gonna just mix the crumbs of that with these breadcrumbs. All right. Drop them in. And shake it up. Alright, and now we got two crumbed salt and vinegar flathead fillets. Look how good that looks. Alright, this oil should be hot enough now. I'm just gonna lay these guys in. It's upside down. And yeah, we'll see when they're done cooking. Should only take a few minutes. All right, now we're just gonna assemble these. We've got our wraps down here. Try and lift them up. May have overcooked it just a little, but... All right. Oh, that's hot. I'll cover that with lemon juice. Yeah. Oops. That one's in pieces. It's fine, it's a wrap. Alright. Those look delicious. They look, look good, at huh? that crispy. Alright, now we're just gonna hit that with a bit of salt, a bit of lemon juice, and that's it. Take a look at that. Fish wrap, there's yours. They look good, eh? Mmm. Just take a bite. Mmm. Mm. Look at that. White flesh, tomato. The greens. That's good. We'll enjoy these and then we're gonna set the crab pot with this carcass here. Alright. Don't go too far. Goodbye. Alright, we're good. Goodbye, sardine pot. Alright, I reckon we chuck it right there. I think 4am was high tide. It's just started going back down now. There you go, Alvin. have been in for about 12 hours. We're gonna go pick them up. Hopefully get some big mud crabs so I can see the float all the way over there. All right, let's do it. Super nice morning. And that's our pot all the way up there. There she is. Going right over the top of it now. This is the one we put the sardines in, so. 
hopes are at a pretty much all time low, but there's a chance. Come on. A lot of mud. Oh, no crabs. Bugger. We still got that other one though. That was in a good spot. Uh, we might just leave this here actually. We'll go straight to the other one. Let that one sit the rest of the day just in case. A lot easier to paddle on the way down with the current. This is the spot where I've caught quite a lot of crabs. So I'm really hoping. Please. Oh. Man, that sucks. Well, I guess we'll just keep fishing then and hopefully get a few more flatties. Just drifting in the middle, casting around. I was just on to a absolutely miniature flathead. Feel it's tiny head shakes, but it got off. Try and do it again. All right. Come out to the sand flats, fishing with some beach worms again. I think I've got a little whiting. All right, let's see. You want to net him? Oh, it's a brim. Sam. Oh, we came to this spot because I've seen heaps of whiting here before on the low tide. And we actually saw a big whiting when we were on the canoe. Oh, he didn't even swallow the bait. That's good. Perfect. Yeah, little brim. Alright. Little brim. Can't even bother to do an underwater shot, but here he goes. Straight off. And looks like we've still got a bit of bait, so just keep fishing. Okay, so we were, we were about to go in. We were about to go in. And then just made, made me go out one more time. Yeah, I said, yeah, we're going to get one last flatty. It looks like we've done it. There oh he is. Little guy. Tiny guy, but it doesn't matter. Oh, don't thrash, buddy. Get him in the net. Got him. There he is. Just a tiny little one. Oh, that's so good. Smash that lure. Die with bait junkie again. Three, two, one, go. Might do some bait fishing. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Last bloody of the trip. Alright, it's nearly full tide. Starting to trickle down rain. Hopefully that doesn't matter though. Got the rod out with some bait on it, some beach worms. And we're trying to catch some uh, whiting, hopefully. Alright, I'm onto a fish here. I'm really hoping it's a whiting. Doesn't feel very big. Oh, there he goes. Come on, please be a whiting. It might be a brim, but I think it could be a whiting. I see leader. Oh. Oh. That's all right. Hold on. Oh, I just touched his eyeball. Windy. I think it might storm. I had a quick go beach fishing, but no luck. There's just way too much swell. 
way too much wind. Audio quality is probably not the best, but that will probably be the end of this adventure. Had a pretty fun two days. Caught some flathead whiting brim. And uh, yeah, hopefully as it gets further into summer, we can get some mud crabs next time. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.